Hello everybody, it's Martha here and welcome to my channel where I do indie game showcases and impressions. Here I gotta present you today a Kingdom of Peace, which is a medieval aged RPG made by a single person. Currently this is a video from the very early access version, you can see here 0.1.4. Game is made on Unreal Engine, the same like uh, Manor Lords. In the same case of Manor Lords, the game is made by the single developer, but of course here we have a smaller project. Well, strange POV, oh as you see. You can interact with the doors, they open itself, like in some kind of shopping mall. Okay, we have a character here. Hello. Um, okay. He hello. What? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> hello. Okay, with new day, track quest. Okay, I wanna track the quest, but they are very talkative people. <laughs> I need to admit that the fire graphic is cool one. I, I like it. But I wonder if there will be like a more information about what's going on. I think the game needs some more of the optimization. Because it's a little bit clunky. I would like to know how... Okay, by the G button, we have a new quest. So, as you see, we have a quest, a new day. This day seems ordinary, but in front of my house, I met a mysterious traveler who interested me. I think he wants something from me. Maybe I can help him. But people need help in recovering goods stolen by bandits. Okay. This is to talk to Bogdan. And ask him to lend me axe. Hello. 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 Wait. Hello. Oh, this is the Bogdan. The game didn't announce that. Oh. Again. Hello. Hello, ladies. Uh. Game is clearly losing FPS. Games really have drops in FPS when you get close to the characters. There's a horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. Hello. Hello. I need help. Can you help me? Yes, but I. Don't know what to do. Let's the game is just hello. <laughs> yeah, let's speak with the armor. Hello. Collect 42 weeds. A little bit too many. I think this is too many. I'm the best uh, weed collector. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Yes, miss. Whatever you are. Yes, yes, yes. I see you have a huge power to change your hairs from the brown to black ones. Payment to after the talk to the Martin. Okay. Mr. Martin. Hello. And battle. Yes, I completed the quest. This was completely unnecessary. We also, it's a shapeshifter. Look at this. The village of shapeshifters. Of course, we can compare, for example, Manor Lords with the King of Peace in this term. Again, that uh, both games are made by the single developer. But, well, definitely on the Manor Lords, developers spent much more time working on it. Quite disappointing because I spent, like, I don't know, half the hour searching for the bucket and I wasn't able to do that. Winterland. Together with the Traveler, we were supposed to go to the destination, which was a village living in the fear of bandit attack. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we're gonna have here. Well, forest is nice. Nice looking one. And now we have a village. I had to go like this 100 meters to go to the village. Okay. The marketplace here. There's new Blanca. Okay, something happening with the game. You are such a beautiful creature that destroying my computer. <laughs> Winterland, quest completed, okay. But multiple quests, okay. So by uh, going to the quest board, we get... What? Oh. Hello, I need help. Can you help me? Uh, yes, but don't mess with my computer. Hello, stranger. Do you need something? Okay, next part. Do I have to track it? It should automatically jump to this part. Hello? Whoa! This is a witch! Look at her! Black hairs, blonde hairs. Black hairs, blonde hairs. Jesus! And a demon. With a good texture. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't save you before here, too. You came here often? Well, maybe you should. <laughs> Hey, 150 meters. I didn't suppose to go to the, my hat, my house that I clean up. Oh, this is a temporary camp. I, okay, I understand. Good night. Oh. What? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Okay, some kind of, some kind of nightmare. I, I hope so. Don't come close to me. I got chills from that. Okay, this is, this, this, this is good. I literally got chills from that. Okay, that wasn't a nightmare. Just pack of wolves attacking us. Okay. Oh, there's a traveler. Hello. You're an adventurer, right? Yes. The entire map that were placed 
just to do like, like this one thing. And now what? Time for bandits. Yes, that's what we are talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're gonna already start a fighting with somebody. And now the warrior lady villagers told me to retrieve the supplies stolen from the villagers. Okay, and just at the same time I can get rid of some bandits. Come on. That's my my sounds. Yo, bitch! You're gonna die! Bang! 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 Uh. Okay. Uh, uh. What's a panic? Uh. Wait! He's a ginger! Secret ginger! Can we block him? Can we block him? Can we block his attack? Do his attack. Do, do, do your attack. Why you attack me? Why you attack me? I were thinking that we are brothers. Yes, secretly. But now... But to be honest, mother loved me more than you. No, die! What's the panic with you? Now, lay here, under the ground, and nobody's gonna see you. Okay, I have to go inside. We have to speak with the vassal of the clans, okay? I understand. On the brink of the war, king choose to take all of the men they have because every soldier is currently worth a lot. Because of that, the bandit starts causing the problems, so the king choose to let the villagers' problems in their hands. And now we go to the city. Okay, instantly we got new quests. Okay, so here is a kingdom of peace. There is a still a little bit more of the content, but I think you can build your opinion about the game. Because the rest of the content is very similar to what already you have. In my opinion, in current moment with version 0.1.4 of the game, it was released too early. As the developer asked me about my review, I sent him my opinion on Discord and he promised that in next updates he's gonna fix current problems of the game, making it more user-friendly. Players were complaining about boringness, a lack of info about what they should do, where in developer perspective all info about quest was in journal, but the game doesn't provide any kind of tutorial to let know players about it. But how the game works right now it's fully just go there, speak with that character and go somewhere else. They are all fetch quests from point A to B to C. I can't recommend title in current state, too many bugs and unpolished errors like with collision detection. I think that developer has a higher ambition than skills at the moment. Let's hope with the future updates game will change and if you wanna check the title by yourself go to the description and there is a link to the game. You can support developer and try title by yourself. And as for me, subscribe for more videos about indie games and see you in the next one. Bye.